尊敬的各位来宾 ，Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. For this session, I would take the liberty, for this session at least, to speak Chinese because all our panelists are Chinese speaking, and also this is a very Chinese and yet also very international topic. So if you speak English, please wear your earpiece with the simultaneous translation. Thank you so much for your cooperation. 大家，呃、uh, ，It's my pleasure to chair、uh, today's session together with the friends、uh, on the stage, and indeed we have a lot of、uh, audience、uh, as well because we're going to discuss、uh, a topic which is of、uh, common interest: the future of、uh, of the.、Um, Uh, state SOE because、um, <clears throat> it reflects the historical、uh, heritage, but also、uh, reflects the future of these SOEs. So, to answer what the future is going to be for these、uh, companies, it's really hard for me as a anchor of a CCTV to answer that question. So we, that's why we would like to ask our panelists to answer those questions. So before、uh, the discussion,、uh, we had a discussion、uh, before、uh, the the official discussion, and、uh, we have reached a consensus that we would like to be、uh, frank, open, and as candid as we can. Thank you very much. So, introduction.、Uh, Mr. Xu Jinghong from Tsinghua Holding Corporation Limited. And、uh, the、uh, chairman of uh, China Baowu Steel Group uh, Corporation Limited, Mr. Ma Guoqiang. Uh, Ma Guoqiang was the first to arrive uh, for this uh, uh, session of discussion, and、uh, as you can see, as a SOE, SOE leader, he is uh, uh, arriving very timely. And、uh, Carol Liao, the、um, Greater China President of Boston Consulting Group. We also have our old friend for uh, Davos, uh, Mr. Liu Feng. Ming、uh, from GE, and、uh, Chengfa Investment、uh, Capital Management Company General Manager Mr. Lin Xuchu CF、uh, from CF Capital. So speaking of.、Uh, Big China. It covers a lot of、uh, content. For example, the、uh, opportunities and challenges during the reform and opening up. There might be a lot of、uh, content to cover. So, let's、uh, go through、uh, one by one. What is the okay? The basic question、uh, for the SOEs:、uh, What should they do in nature, and what's the function of it? I think the function decides its future destination. So first of all, I would like to give the floor to Mr. Ma. You know that Bao Steel and Wu Steel, Wisco, have been、um, merged, or you might have a very deep understanding of this issue, Mr. Ma. Okay,、uh, the future of、uh, the big China,、uh, the big China, yeah. So we're looking for,、uh, looking forward to the future. Then we need to understand the history, the SOE of China. What's the function? What are the functions of it, of them? SOEs in China do not have a long history. Since、uh, the、uh, 1949, the uh, uh, establishment of New China, we started to have the、uh, real SOEs. Previously, before that, we had uh, the uh, government supported. Businesses or private public sector jointly established uh, uh, companies, but they're not in、uh, SOEs in real sense. And、uh, before the opening up and reform, most of them,、uh, most of the companies are SOEs. For example, SOEs to、uh, uh, affiliated affiliated to the central government, to provincial government, municipality, and、uh, county level. Government, etc. But with the、uh, progress of China's open up and、uh, reform, with the 
world's economy, there are other types of、uh, companies coming into China. For example, foreign companies and private business in China also develop very quickly. Today we have a very、uh, mixed situation.、Um, for example,、uh, SOEs and private and foreign companies are jointly developing. Yes, we know that, Mr. Ma. SOE has a lot of functions. For example, a guarantee for the national economic development and a major contributor for the financial revenue for China. And also played a very important role to stabilize the society. All these are the uh, uh, expected functions、uh, for the SOEs. But what it, what is it is the relations between all these functions and reform of China? So we have a lot function to take. Meanwhile, it's not easy to find a new approach of reform. Yes, you're right. Because for this round of reform, we would like to get rid of the uh, uh, redundant functions. So first of all, we would like to define the functions of the SOEs. So we have two types of SOEs. One is commercial; the other is、uh, for public uh, uh, benefits. Bao Steel it belongs to the、uh, commercial category. So we don't have too many companies、uh, who、uh, who could be defined as the uh, uh, company SOEs for public、uh, benefits. And the,、uh, for example,、uh, military and Zhong Chuliang, and also oil uh, and uh, power grade, they are all classified as commercial SOEs. And now, in the central government, we have this uh, uh, joint leading group, uh, to, and this uh, new concept uh, of uh, jointly. Uh, for example, all those uh, companies, uh, if the, you are registered in China, then you will be treated、uh, fairly or equal on an equal basis. For example, a lot of private、uh, companies are getting into the、um, uh, military or air force、um, or air、uh, transportation、uh, sector as well, like Boeing and other companies. So through the classification of the SOEs in China, we make the Chinese the SOEs、uh, could do and could、uh, decided not to do anything. They could follow the、um, effective、uh, corporate governance and could have a very efficient uh, regular uh, monitoring mechanism. So companies、uh, has、uh, the scope of、uh, to do and not to do. So what is the scope of、uh, to do and what is not to do? Could you briefly introduce uh, uh, touch upon that? Bao Wu Steel, for example, take us for example.、Uh, we.、Uh, We're merged. We are a merged company. Merged the company between Bao Steel and Wuhan Steel. It was established last year. And our two companies uh, indeed uh, had a lot of、uh, other businesses before the merging. For example,、uh, we provide water supply, gas supply, and power supply for the uh, dormitories of uh, the uh, uh, staff. We also have a kindergarten, had a kindergarten and schools, but in the this round of、uh, reform,、uh, this will be given to、uh, the uh, appropriate appropriate、uh, companies to take care of it. And we also had the hospital, and that part of business also spun off uh, to uh, another company, for example,、uh, the China Resource. So we'll focus on the major business of steel. For those、uh, that is uh, uh, not so relevant to our core business,、uh, we would like to spin them off in order to make us more efficient. Thank you, Mr. Ma, or、uh, Mr. Xu from Qinghua. So companies should do and should not do、uh, certain business. So closing off the、uh, kindergarten, the uh, the、um, hospital. Then you should focus on your core business. Is that what you?、Uh, is do you all?、Uh, do you also agree with this?、Uh, for SOEs, in a certain way,、uh, from the nature of the shareholders, if the if it belongs to the government and it is、uh, SOE, but、uh, also they have different categories. For example,、uh, we have SOEs belonging to the central government, to the local governments, and to the county level government, etc. 
And our company, uh, which is affiliated to senior education institution, uh, we have different mission, different assignments, different mandate, different uh, ways of uh, growing. And uh, mostly, uh, I think for the SOEs, the most important uh, issue to address is uh, who, who, who is responsible for this uh, state-owned assets. Is, the, is it uh, the responsibility of the uh, board or of uh, the uh, uh, operating management team? And uh, the SOE reform has uh, uh, many mechanisms which are really working well. For example, managing according to different categories and operating uh, according to different categories of uh, companies and the separation of the ownership and the operation of the company. <coughs> and how to strengthen the um, uh, dynamics of the SOE and how to regulate in a more efficient way. We need to regulate and monitor the uh, SOEs effectively <coughs> instead of uh, complicated com complicatedly. And now we have very complicated oversight system instead of uh, efficient uh, system. You have to go through a lot of uh, formalities, but they're not efficient. That's why there are a lot of issues uh, in the process of operating these SOE assets. So back to the, its core, the issue is uh, who is responsible for the uh, assets of the SOEs? And how can we make it uh, a strong sense of uh, uh, responsibility and also empower the person in charge to be responsible for the assets? And um, SOE, indeed, play a very important role for the uh, national economic and so social development. I agree, absolutely. But I think be it SOE or private uh, or other forms of uh, businesses, first of all, they are companies. Apart from uh, the responsibility of uh, providing uh, for public welfare, companies need to follow the market rule. And this is something uh, you have to follow as the first rule for a company. For example, you need to have a, a decision-making process. The market and the competition, whether we can follow the market mechanism, so we have a lot of uh, advantages for those uh, state-owned enterprises. Okay, well, later we'll come back to this uh, question. So based on your analogy, it's the official government forces and also the guerrillas and also how about the regional uh, forces. Uh, I'm from uh, Guangdong uh, province, like uh, local uh, guerrilla forces. So as uh, Mr. Ma and Mr. Xu uh, said very well, so my personal view is uh, similar. So no matter what it's uh, SOE and uh, private uh, enterprises, they are all kind of uh, enterprise operation as the SOE. So our uh, shareholder is the uh, central government and the uh, local government, but we have to uh, give a uh, play to the enterprise uh, functions. But we have to uh, follow our uh, uh, stakeholders' uh, interest. And uh, I not uh, fully agree, so what they should do, what they should not do in terms of the SOE as an excellent uh, enterprise. They also have the social uh, natures. They have this kind of uh, value uh, uh, and also the missions and the proposition. So I fully uh, admire it's uh, Johnson Johnson uh, group for Johnson Johnson uh, credo. Is Johnson Johnson your customer or not? It's not my customer. So nothing to do with uh, Johnson Johnson. So, uh, okay, you, you, you have the opportunity to speak. So uh, the social responsibility at the very top and the shareholders' uh, returns uh, is the last one to consider. So I believe uh, this uh, a topic, so for enterprise, they want to survive, want to uh, develop, they have to uh, uh, focus on this uh, social responsibility. So the uh, executive uh, level, they should have such a mission when they have a dilemma, how to have a better operation. So they have to take into account the various uh, interests and requirement. So that means uh, it's uh, how, how to do that. Anyway, we have to uh, come to this uh, uh, seminar and also the conference uh, more times. In our country, our state uh, enterprises, so maybe uh, Compared with uh, other parts of the world, the enterprises we moved from uh, overall planning uh, mechanism. So uh, 
That's why we have a lot of uh, uh, issues and problems. And also, um, as uh, Mr. Xu said, that is our system, our uh, mechanism is such an uh, opportunity and environment how to have a better performance. We talk about the institution and also the environment and opportunities. So that all depends on our efforts. So we don't have any uh, hardened things we cannot change. We all have uh, uh, hopes by what means we can make it better. And also it's uh, more uh, fitable to the market uh, mechanism and also the people's requirement. So I would like to ask uh, the other two. They are multinational uh, company speakers. Those are two uh, executives. Maybe uh, one of them, maybe you have a lot of uh, contacts with the uh, various uh, central government uh, enterprises and local government enterprises. We have a lot of uh, cooperation. Secondly, you used to uh, work in your company. You have uh, uh, both uh, uh, the cooperation and also you have some experience working in the uh, SOEs. So for your three uh, uh, colleagues, their previous uh, discussions, they have their uh, daily uh, challenges that is that uh, give them the right and the powers for their operation. And also they are facing a lot of opportunities since uh, China is uh, growing. And also we see the emergence of uh, new technologies. And also we have the Belt and the Road initiative, such a platform and a framework. We have a lot of uh, space for uh, exploration. So you are both uh, observers and also you are also uh, participants. Maybe we'll have a lady first. Even normally for uh, difficult questions, ladies first. So uh, Madam Liao, so I sit here and I think we have the uh, uh, official uh, government forces and also the local rulers. So what is our position? We are kind of a friendly forces, a friendly uh, army. So uh, that's our personal uh, views. So uh, and uh, Mr. Liu and myself, we are kind of observers or friendly armies. So uh, for myself, in my past uh, 20 years, uh, uh, business, and most of them is in the consuming market. So consumer market is uh, fully uh, competitive. Our uh, big China or SOEs, we don't have so many in the consuming market, but we can learn a lot of experience for the industry itself. It's quite uh, exciting, very dynamic, and uh, full of uh, vitality. In the morning, we have a report. In the following few years uh, growth, it could be very uh, uh, big. And also we have the personalization, the uh, fragmentation, and the uh, tailor-made and the accurate. So those are the, we'll, talk up, we'll come back to the future, our topic of uh, Big China. Uh, this is a very interesting phenomenon. In the past uh, few years, in those uh, fully uh, uh, competitive uh, front, our local uh, team, our local uh, brand, they have a uh, very, uh, uh, big jump uh, growth, and also uh, is getting more and more market share. So I want to share with you on the one hand, so we learned uh, very uh, good things from the multinational companies, the marketing, the branding, and the product R&D, and also the local very good things, speed, and uh, very, uh, very fast response, and the fast embracement of uh, technology and digitization, we have a lot of uh, local uh, advantages in the competition. So that is the rising of our market share. So one thing I will fully uh, echo. So enterprise is uh, enterprise. So they have to do their decision uh, uh, by themselves. What is uh, appropriate for the best decisions? So most of the cases, we need a full competition in the market. We could. Uh, uh, activate some of the vitality, but in the consumer market, we didn't see any uh, competition yet. They are always comp now is uh, competing in the local market, so they have to go uh, global, have a larger uh, uh, space to improve their uh, performance. So the uh, ultimate uh, decision should be uh, made by those enterprise, on the talents, on the incentives, so those are the few areas for our uh, reform of the SOEs in future. So these are the important uh, jobs and the very important uh, battles for the SOE and big China. So I fully uh, uh, understand what uh, Madam Liao said. So I would like to ask Ms. Ma to respond. So as uh, Madam Liao said, anyway, 
we can have a try and give a full play and we can compete in the market. So what will be the target in the future for SOEs? Secondly, how to have a better uh, mechanism? We try to attract more talent. So how about your response? I will answer your second question first. In terms of the institution, our system, so in recently from 2014 onward, our state council and also the management of SOEs in the central government, we have some uh, trial of the setup of the board or uh, director's board. So our board of directors in Baogang and also chairman plus the president and also we have the chairman of the trade union. So we have about 50% uh, is our external uh, directors. The mixture of directors uh, from uh, Singapore, from Hong Kong, and also from America. So under the state council, maybe this is the way we try to uh, change the too much intervention from the stakeholders or from the board directors in their decisions. So we have a very uh, efficient uh, decision making uh, mechanism. Now, another one is the result or the consequence of such a system. So from our steel industry in China, so around the world, we are the biggest one. So many people say, so although we are the biggest one, but we are not strong. But uh, for the steel and uh, iron works in China, I should be very fair. So uh, last year's consumption is around uh, 700 million tons. We only uh, imported uh, 10 million tons. So only about uh, uh, three or four million tons. So we cannot uh, produce in China. Whether it's our aircraft uh, carriers, our uh, uh, construction, our automobiles, we can offer most of the steel for those uh, industry. Another feature of China's iron steel, so we have a full uh, competition. So that is one of the reasons of our overcapacity. We have more than 1,000 uh, iron steel groups. So the central, uh, uh, we have only two, one is uh, Baowu, the other is Angang uh, Steel uh, Group. We also have some uh, local uh, uh, steel works. So most of the competition is uh, with our uh, colleagues from Japan, from uh, South Korea, from uh, Europe, from uh, America. We're on the same uh, platform to compete. Up to today, no matter what is uh, quality of products and uh, profitability, so uh, we are the number one around the world. So I fully agree, competition, is the core of the market mechanism. So with the competition, so all the companies, so they have the drivers for innovation, reform, and development. So how about uh, Mr. Liu, your comments. So you are uh, a friendly army one, friendly army two. So uh, from our uh, outside perspective, I fully agree with what we said. So what is the nature of an enterprise, or attribute of an enterprise? if it is not decided by its ownership or its uh, board directors. So all the enterprises, we have a lot of uh, similar features, how to operate, how to make it more efficient, how to uh, re retain the talents, how to follow the direction of the technology development. If we reveal our GE in the past years, so now it's just past our 125th anniversary of GE. This is a very old brand uh, company over the past 100 years. So we have to uh, reveal and change ourselves uh, all the time. So in the past uh, uh, one or two years, so in terms of uh, profit, uh, more than 50% uh, of uh, finance, we uh, really spin off those uh, businesses. It's more than uh, uh, 20 uh, billion we will have uh, spin over those uh, businesses. The biggest uh, energy company is uh, Arston in France. So we have another acquisition, one is uh, Big East. So our traditional uh, the branding uh, consumer products, so uh, we sell it to a higher. And also our Edison, the lighting uh, business, we put it to the market to sell. So why we do these uh, changes along with the social development and technology uh, changes? So your uh, traditional uh, competitiveness, uh, maybe now is your weak part. So how to uh, look at your uh, strong parts and the weak parts? You can uh, make a decision what you will do, what you will not do. 
So the Chinese uh, company and the multinational companies and the local companies they are all the same. So we are at the same uh, starting point of running and uh, compete on the same uh, platform. We are facing the same problem, how to make our uh, company bigger and stronger. To make it uh, bigger, there are so many uh, factors. But to make it uh, stronger, we have the single uh, same uh, factor. You have to uh, leave your uh, place where you were born, you were uh, growing, and move into a strange uh, place. You still can get the market, get the customers. That means you are strong. So uh, globalize or internationalization is one of the features of your uh, strongness. So for GE, we also have the same uh, journey. From the very early American-based company, now 70% uh, in the past, 70% from uh, America, and now is 70% uh, of our business uh, come from out of America. So it's easier for this company to do the business in America, but to go global or in China is not uh, so easy. So we have to work together with our uh, peers, our colleagues. We are at the same uh, starting point to talk about the same things. So what Mr. Liu said, so we have a 125-year-old uh, company. We have to uh, review ourselves. So we are quite uh, old. So we want to have a lot of uh, breakthrough. So when you say something, and uh, Mr. Xu, is uh, uh, want to uh, speak something. So you talk about the internationalization, that's the very thing he want to uh, comment. So for the international uh, platform, our SOEs we are facing a reform and uh, breakthroughs, whether we have the opportunity or not. Especially the uh, communications uh, internationally in the area of uh, technological and other areas. I didn't think too much about this issue, but you can start thinking about it now. I think China, uh, Chinese businesses um, uh, in general, uh, their ability has been improved. A lot of companies, uh, when we were talking about glo going uh, outside China, it was nothing but a slogan. But now there are a lot of Chinese companies going outside China. And a lot of, especially previously, was uh, monopolized the companies uh, going uh, or entering into the top 500. But now a lot of private companies, competitive companies, are um, incorporated into the uh, top 500. Uh, President sees, um, Chairman sees uh, three um, requirements of, for SOE reform uh, is very important. He said whether or not SOE uh, could uh, develop in real sense uh, depends on three. Uh, standards. First one. First of all, whether the uh, SOE assets uh, could be, its value could be retained and increased. And secondly, whether the competitive edge of these SOE have been enhanced, including the um, uh, international competitive edge. And uh, f thirdly, is uh, whether or not there is a magnifying uh, uh, effect of uh, the uh, uh, SOE capital or assets. So uh, the. Core of the issue is uh, whether or not we could um, stimulate the uh, vitality of the SOE. Mr. Ma, uh, what Mr. Ma said was correct. Indeed, we need to admit efficiency wisely compared with the uh, private sector SOE is not so uh, not is not doing so well. That's a fact. Yes, indeed, SOE contributed a lot for the uh, social and economic development. But in terms of its operational efficiency, uh, compared with the uh, market role and uh, its speed uh, for response to the market, indeed, it is uh, lagged behind. OK. First of all, when we're talking about SOE, we cannot just focus too much on issues. The purpose is to find a solution. Otherwise, uh, we'll be, it will be very negative. OK, so what about the solution? OK, solutions. First of all, we need to uh, revolutionize our institution and mechanism. So this um, a mixed ownership a mechanism is a very good choice. But does it only mean that we should introduce other forms of a capital? Or we should introduce uh, those uh, more efficient mechanisms from the market? Or introduce uh, those uh, real entrepreneurs, real market talents? into the company to work as a leaders or management uh, for this company. So when we are introducing capital, mechanisms and talents should also be introduced. Take the uh, Qinghua industry, for example, in the past uh, many years, uh, 
Tas China, a uh, Tas uh, Capital. Uh, it's a Qinghua uh, Industry Park. Uh, in, within five years, uh, uh, our assets increased from uh, ten billion to six hundred sixty billion uh, U.S. dollars, and of course. I think the most important reason for us to uh, de uh, develop so quickly is because of the uh, promotion of the mixed ownership. Uh, so, for example, uh, the uh, Unisplendor group, uh, five years ago, its total assets is only around uh, 1 billion, but last year reached uh, uh, 120 billion. Within such a short time period of 50, uh, five years, Unisplendor group uh, uh, is very strong in terms of the uh, smart chips uh, design. The reason it is so uh, developing so quickly is because uh, of the mixed ownership uh, mechanism. Not only we introduced the, the private capital, the chairman of Unif Splendor, uh, Mr. Zhao Weiguo, is an um, alumni of uh, Tsinghua University. He came back to work as a uh, chairman of the board, and also uh, a great power was uh, delegated to this uh, chairman. And um, also, they follow the modern uh, corporate uh, system. That is why it developed so quickly in five years. So mixed ownership um, reform is one thing. After introducing the uh, talents and the mechanism, uh, we need to work on that. Uh, for example, for those uh, companies uh, affiliated uh, to the Unis Blender Group, we promoted three uh, measures. One is empowering for decision-making of the business. Because we think uh, we need to empower the person who's uh, in the front line working instead of uh, those uh, people in a hierarchy, uh, above, above in the hierarchy. And of course, those people should uh, take care of the uh, strategic direction. But those uh, decision-makers need to be uh, fully empowered. So people, are the on the upper level, they shouldn't dis make decisions by themselves. It should be the person who is fighting in the field to make the decisions. And of course, there is no uh, one size for all solution. We need to find out which business you know is uh, could uh, synergize with our core business instead of uh, one size for all. Cut off all the other business, only the main core, uh, main uh, business left. And also, we uh, use the audit-based uh, monitoring system. So internal audit and external audit, first of all, compliance um, should be observed. For the uh, mixed uh, uh, ownership um, uh, companies uh, related to uh, transaction is one of the major concern. So we need to address that problem and how to protect the resource and protect the brand. And thirdly, is uh, KPI, we need, uh, which is an incremental-based KPI mechanism. So the operation team uh, has to benefit together with the shareholder, with the company. Yeah, very interesting. You give us uh, the um, uh, reform plan for the uh, Tsinghua Holding Group. So do you think it's a final solution, Mr. Ma? Uh, it is one of the solutions. That is why the central government said, if it is appropriate to mix your ownership, you'd better do it. But before this round of a reform, we've already had this uh, mixed ownership. For example, Wu Steel has cooperation with the uh, GE. It seems uh, sometimes it goes uh, quickly, it goes smooth, sometimes it goes uh, slowly. Uh, and this round of uh, reform is more is is uh, not uh, specifically related to capital. Um, Cooperation is more of mechanism cooperation. From the Qinghua holding uh, perspective, uh, uh, actually what they do uh, is uh, what we are doing as well. The uh, internal mechanism of the SOEs, uh, probably uh, people have a lot of uh, misunderstanding over it because uh, we have a uh, group level. For example, me as a chairman, uh, we are in charge of uh, supervising and uh, regulating and uh, finding the uh, strategic uh, uh, target and location direction. And the second tier of the management is fully powered, empowered and also incentivized as well. Uh, for example, the sharing of the profits. Uh, shareholding uh, probably is not a choice now. 
uh, only when you are incorporated into this uh, uh, mixed ownership reform list, then uh, the management could have uh, their shares. But uh, before that, we also have other uh, incentives to incentivize the management. Through these uh, mecha uh, mechanism of reform, uh, we can get rid of those weaknesses of the SOE. The reason we reformed the SOEs is because um, uh, it was uh, previously not a science-based decisions. It was more of a dictatorship. It, is not sign it was not science-based. And also, we have a very heavy social burden. And we use a lot of people. And all these are being reformed. So after all these reforms, the efficiency could be improved so that these uh, SOEs uh, could uh, compete in the international market uh, through BNR or through other approach. Since you mentioned about the BRI, so I would like to invite the other three speakers to join our discussion. Mr. Liu. B B BRI, Belt and Road Initiative, is a very exciting uh, framework. It represents a vision and also a process every everyone could share, could benefit. So people might have different understandings over BRI, and uh, we have a very uh, positive ideas over BRI now. And uh, in, uh, BRI also uh, promote the SOE's development because we need to learn very quickly as a SOE uh, in very different markets. Uh, we're not talking about developed markets. We're talking about the different types of uh, emerging economies and developing countries and how to operate. We need to learn. Meanwhile, we need to benefit and bring something new and long, on long-term sustainable results for those uh, different countries. So Mr. Liu, a lot of people think that it's a learning process, very good learning process. It could help with the reform of the SOEs. But some other people think that um, the SOEs uh, would become uh, conservative. They would just use their old experience and approaches uh, in order to avoid risk. So what's your opinion? Do you think BNR, BRI uh, brought any opportunities for us uh, for the SOE in terms of reform? Uh, President Xi and Premier uh, Ke Qiang uh, have uh, made it very clear that it's a very good opportunity for not only us, but also the world's economy. That's for sure. Uh, before answering your question, I would like to touch upon the uh, mixed uh, ownership reform. And uh, about that, I have a very good example to share with you. So. Uh, we establish a uh, uh, aviation electronic English name is Avialage uh, company together with Avec. So it provides electronics uh, for the uh, C919 airplanes, and the GE uh, injected all its uh, IPR into this uh, JV. So the JV is uh, the ownership of this uh, these IPs. So it not only provides uh, the technology for or the equipment for C919 in China, but also set up uh, the branch offices in Europe, uh, in America. Uh, the purpose is uh, to uh, go global, uh, but in the name of the JV, so that uh, in the future it will provide electronic equipment to uh, Boeing and to Airbus. So GE sent a general manager uh, and a CFO uh, from and also the chairman is from AVIC, Chinese uh, SOE. So from the uh, uh, monitoring from uh, IP protection, from legal framework perspective, uh, it is uh, exactly the same as a GE management. So introducing this uh, mechanism is even more important than introducing uh, capital into the JV. OK, just want to mention that. Back to the BRI, GE in the past many years uh, have been operating many years uh, along the uh, uh, belt, of belt and Road. I think it's an opportunity because when we're dealing with the SOEs, especially, probably you might uh, be very clear with, uh, about this, 85% of our customers are SOEs in China for GE. And uh, we have already had a very good experience. Uh, most of the companies, uh, most of them uh, are SOEs. We call them an EPC. Uh, we work with them along the uh, belt and the road uh, countries in about more than 60 countries. Uh, in about 60 BRI countries, and 90% of them uh, have been covered by us. So it's a very good opportunity for the SOE because we could be complementary to each other with the uh, 
uh, SOEs. Uh, we have very good uh, connection, very good distribution channel, and very good understanding of the uh, legal and political environment of those countries. So if we work together with the uh, EPC companies, the SOE, uh, it could help us uh, to uh, uh, not to commit the mistakes that we've uh, had experience with. And a few months ago, together with the China APC, including some of financial sector, we went to Europe in Nairobi and Lagos. Lagos and those areas, um, we did a road show, not only promoting China's uh, technologies and GE's uh, technologies, but also providing uh, some uh, financing to the local projects. So. Uh, we also invited a lot of financing, financiers in this road show, and also with the assistance of the uh, consulates and embassies, as well as the local governments uh, in, the, uh, th in those local countries. I think it's a very brand new approach. In this process, uh, foreign companies and SOEs uh, could have a new platform of a cooperation. I believe uh, this is a very good opportunity for us. And of course, uh, there are a lot of other opportunities, just from a business perspective. So, Mr. Ma, Mr. Lin, Lin has been, uh, Mr. Ma has been nodding his head uh, when you were talking. Indeed, in the BRI, there are a lot of opportunities. What's your understanding? BNR, BRI, as, men, uh, as he mentioned, indeed, uh, for China, it's a very good opportunity. For those uh, countries uh, long, and it's also opportunities for all those countries along BRI and the world, and for us, Wu uh, Bao Steel. So it's part of the national strategy, and as SOE, we have the responsibility to work on it, to research on it, to implement it. As steel company, uh, now we uh, probably are investing, for example, in mines, uh, going outside China, because China does not have very uh, sufficient iron ore. Um, resource. And secondly, we are going outside because we would like to sell our products. But in the future, we probably would co uh, cooperate on the advanced uh, capacity because uh, along these uh, roads, a lot of economies are developing really quickly and they have a great need for steel products. And maybe there might be some investment opportunities. It's an opportunity for both SOE and also the various enterprises, including multinationals and private companies. We hope we would like to work uh, joining hands with uh, uh, GE. So in this uh, process, how much can we uh, promote our SOE's uh, reform? Back to our topic for this uh, panel, so to have some uh, reform and uh, changes, not only doing a simple uh, business. I can give you two examples before uh, Belt and the Road. We talk about inter internationalization, and now Belt and the Road. We have to uh, go global. Our executive uh, level will want to have a localized executives when the foreign company come into China. They also have the local executive team. So this is what we said just now. We are 100% uh, state-owned enterprise. If you invited uh, a foreign uh, general manager, so I cannot just say you can uh, uh, your income is uh, 300 3,000 and the same uh, revenue, same uh, income as myself. That's not true. So it's a kind of a market uh, decision and a mechanism. So we do have such uh, uh, instance here. We can promote it uh, to a larger area. So this is a uh, promotion of our SOE's uh, reform. So whether it's uh, about and uh, road initiatives and whether it's uh, promoting or it's a uh, dragging effect, so we want to accelerate the SOE reform. We all believe this is opportunity from uh, Belt and Road. It's not only a political uh, slogan. So there are a lot of uh, space for working together. How about Mr. Uh, Yun? So uh, our local uh, forces, our local army. So a simple uh, uh, comment. For Belt and Road initiative, is a very good opportunity for us. So we are the first time to come to uh, WEF, the Davos uh, Summer uh, uh, Summit. So uh, I can uh, say it briefly. So uh, uh, Capital. So we are a full uh, state-owned uh, enterprise. So we uh, infrastructure investment uh, is uh, our major responsibility. We work to uh, uh, China Lab and also uh, Hong Kong. It's around uh, uh, 20 uh, uh, billion RMB investment. So we are actively involved in the local uh, infrastructure uh, promotion. So from this uh, perspective, one belt, one road. So there's a lot of uh, content. This is a very important uh, part. So we uh, sincerely hope 
So under this uh, policy uh, Belt and Road, we can seize the opportunity for our investor in the infrastructure even going abroad. So uh, from the investor's perspective, so with uh, many uh, enterprises, including multinationals, SOEs, we can work together. So uh, as uh, Mr. Liu said, so whether you are an excellent enterprise or not, depends how uh, whether you can move to a new area, a new country, and uh, for your business. This is a good opportunity. I want to add one thing. So we talk about uh, mixed uh, ownership reform. And even for the SOE, and the central government and the local uh, SOEs, we can uh, improve our uh, business uh, governance. So we can talk with him. Between our two companies, we talk about this uh, mixed uh, ownership. And the Xinhua Investment and uh, our Bao Wu is the major uh, uh, director. And also, we can do such uh, a significant uh, matter of uh, far-reaching uh, influence together, all of us. Now we still have another uh, 10 minutes around. So we have to uh, give the more time to all the people present here. So actually, for the floor, in the SOE's uh, reform and the future uh, development, you have a very good uh, understanding in your comments. So I suggest, so your questions and also the uh, comments instead of a uh, five minute or 10 minute presentation. If you do have the relevant questions to our panelists uh, here on the stage, so uh, please uh, raise your hand. So our people will hand over the microphone. So any questions from the floor? Uh, this gentleman first. So you can raise your hand and tell me and I will ask you uh, next. So please identify yourself. And also a simple question. We are from a professional uh, internet uh, platform. For the SOEs, we believe a very important matter is concerning the uh, innovation. So this is a very important, maybe it's a missing link, which is the uh, 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 disadvantage for the SOEs. So I would like to hear from uh, Madam Liao as a service uh, provider. How do you help them to improve their innovation? So this is the uh, opportunity for uh, Madam Liao. So maybe I do not uh, uh, agree with what you said. Anyway, SOE is quite uh, innovative, like our Tsinghua Holdings Company. So because of our strong innovation, we have a lot of uh, core technologies and new business models. So we are very good at uh, innovation. But uh, how to uh, innovate? It's a question. And uh, which uh, areas of innovation is a question. So I fully agree. So this is a kind of a misunderstanding. So most of uh, uh, technology innovation up to now come from our state-owned companies in China. So do you have, you have some uh, figures to support that and cases for, to support that? OK, thank you. How about uh, Madam Liao? Maybe I have a different idea with our panelists in terms of uh, innovation. So in China, not only for SOEs, it is still a missing link. It's a, a, a weak point. So I agree. So because your question relating to uh, technology innovation, for the business model uh, innovation, that's quite true. We are not as flexible as the uh, private companies. And even uh, one is uh, disruptive uh, innovation. The other is uh, applicable innovation, uh, two different uh, concepts. All means uh, innovation. So as I said, so the internationalization issue on the Belt and the Road, this is a new uh, chapter of internationalization. A lot of opportunities come back to my uh, current uh, product, a uh, current uh, technology available, how to export. So for internationalization, it's a lot of uh, combination of the digits of the members and uh, enablement technologies. So maybe we do not have uh, too much uh, discussion. So it's a very uh, big uh, topic. Uh, innovation relies on the organization, on the talents, on the partners. As uh, Ms. Liu said, GE has a good uh, case. As a third party uh, consulting uh, capacity, so it can offer a lot of uh, assistance. How about uh, Mr. Lin? Since we talk about the new technologies, 
So new technology can offer a lot of uh, challenges and opportunities. How about uh, Mr. Ling? So today's uh, topic is the future of uh, Big China. So I believe uh, Big China have a lot of uh, advantages in terms of the resources, our uh, standardization in the innovation. So now this is our central government is core. So we are quite uh, advantageous in innovation like what we heard yesterday from uh, Premier. So maybe uh, it's a slow fish and a faster fish. So we need some help from the fast fish. So these uh, innovative uh, models, maybe the SOEs, is not so fast. But I want to highlight one thing. As an SOE, we are the first one. So our capital company, so we are doing the uh, share uh, holdings or the equities. I don't want to disclose the names. Doing the equities uh, business. So we can learn a lot. One question, the bigger the size is, maybe the more difficult to uh, change and uh, reform. And uh, secondly, what kind of innovation, what kind of uh, soil in China good for innovation? So how about you two can have a, a simple analysis? Since uh, China, so we have a lot of uh, personalized requirement and demand. So we need the uh, innovation of our business model and the management if it come down to uh, technology innovation, maybe from our Bao uh, steel groups. Maybe a decade ago and more, we are kind of uh, followers. So our R&D innovation, so well, anything we cannot buy, we have to do. But over the past decade, development in many product areas, so we are kind of the either we are kind of a leader, but the native uh, innovation we need uh, more efforts. So to answer your question, for SOEs, so the efficiency maybe some is uh, problematic, but for the R and D investment compared with the uh, private companies, so we focused uh, more on the innovation itself. How about the result of your investment? or the effects. Maybe it's not as good as the private company. A lot of uh, new technologies or the original technologies or the fundamental studies, sometimes they don't have any uh, economic result. In other words, as SOEs, so we cannot focus on the quick win, on the fast win. So in the long run, so the studies we are very uh, advanced. I fully echo what Mr. Ma said. SOEs, we undertake a lot of uh, uh, mission or our nation's uh, strategies for the R&D investment. Maybe it's not uh, uh, big enough for the enterprise innovation and the technology innovation is only uh, one of them. Another one is organizational innovation to make our uh, companies are more energetic. So a lot of uh, reform is undergoing now, like our Qinghua Holdings. So we have uh, set up around the world, around 200 incubators. We can uh, connect in, uh, more than 10,000 uh, startups. Thirdly, is our uh, business model innovation. They have uh, uh, 3D. It's a group uh, innovation uh, model. So. Uh, so we have no, not enough time to give you a detailed uh, explain. So uh, it's a kind of a comprehensive thing for innovation. I fully believe SOE in the future's uh, reform and the transformation, we can have a better uh, innovation in the future. So before our sum up, so maybe we still have some questions. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ali Siddiqui. I'm from Pakistan. I run a conglomerate, a diversified conglomerate in Pakistan. My question is for Mr. Ma. Um, if Chinese SOEs have a large amount of overcapacity and some of those factories are quite new, is there an opportunity to relocate those factories to other countries? And are SOEs doing that? And are there opportunities? Are you asking for opportunities to have it in Pakistan, uh, in Pakistan directly? Or, or, or all Belt and Road countries to relocate capacity? All right. Uh, Overcapacity,所谓啊,来,我们,但是从另外一个角度也是要问,就是我们是不是把一些过程产能就是放到别的国家去了啊,同时还有一些像能源啊,像环境啊等等这些问题怎么来讨论啊。So uh, how to have a discussion? Uh, uh, for Bow Steel Company, uh, we researched the One Belt, One Road opportunity for a long time. For example, Pakistan is the most important country for both steel 
uh, now. We now studied uh, the Guadar port. Uh, we researched the possibility to build a steel mill. Uh, uh, we know the uh, steel mm. demand in Pakistan is growing fast. So. Thank you very much. Your answer Even is yes. <laughs> <clears throat> In English, so what else can I say? Okay, uh, as an international broadcaster, I just want to say thank you so much for also speaking English to our audience directly. Thank you, really appreciate that. Uh, 好，来，我们这边还有一个问题，特别。So a question from here, very simple question. A few minutes left. I'm from a UK and the Royal Accounting uh, Company. My question for Mr. Xuanma. As you mentioned, is the auditing as a regulating regulating uh, tool. Our SOE has a lot of uh, subsidiaries and uh, overseas uh, projects. So I would like to hear your comments. Very simple, very simple uh, answer. So I didn't uh, fully understand what you said. So I can answer. So from this uh, perspective, our SOEs. It's also an international uh, company, so our uh, overseas uh, uh, subsidiaries, we use the local uh, seven uh, major uh, accounting firms. We all have the opportunities. So another question, so just uh, one uh, simple question. I'm from uh, Jiaji, as uh, President Xi said, we have to uh, strengthen our SOE's uh, party uh, administration. So whether you have any conflicts in your reform, in your major decisions. So how about your party uh, secretary and also your chairman, any uh, conflict or not? Our SOE, we have to strengthen our party uh, leadership. Uh, seize the uh, opportunity and the uh, micro environment and also uh, implementation in the enterprise. As a party sec party, as uh, the board and also as the management, we need to make clear the uh, strategy direction uh, is in line with the national strategy. I think for any companies, when you come to China, if you're against China's uh, uh, st strategic direction, then you are doomed to fail. And the secondly is uh, to look at the overall picture, the stability of the, of the company and uh, uh, the um, uh, employees, the morale, and also the uh, um, that's uh, something, that's the relations. Okay. So, Mr. Ma, you are not only the Chairman Ma, but also Party Secretary Ma. Okay, there is uh, another question over there. Please, uh, please uh, ask a short answer. I'm from uh, uh, China Economic Weekly. My question is to Mr. Ma. Uh, employee reform is also one of the major inform, uh, reforms of the uh, SOE. So could you uh, explain the experience uh, from your company? And last year, since the um, merger, so uh, what is uh, Bao Wu's um, uh, development strategy for future? Because uh, increasing of the capacity is not what you're concerned about, major uh, concern. OK, uh, the incremental uh, part of the profits will be shared. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have uh, made it clear for the, all the employees. Uh, the salary is related to their KPI and efficient, uh, efficiency of the company. So if there is a 100 million of uh, profits increase, uh, then there will be about uh, 6 million to 7 million of uh, total salary increments. And uh, this is, you can do the calculation later on by yourself. And secondly, for the uh, uh, management, there is a basic sa salary, there is annual KPI, and uh, also if you uh, reach your target, uh, then there will be a certain one or two percent of the profits given to the uh, management team. So as a incentive uh, uh, pool, capital pool, and uh, also for Baowu Steel, uh, our capacity uh, production uh, output is uh, 65 million tons. And uh, to establish new capacity is not our future direction. But uh, as we know that GE has uh, become, is a role model for Baowu Steel, we would like to learn from the other advanced companies. OK, thank you very much. And a signal has been given to you that we have to conclude. But uh, before that, we would like to give the floor to the What's role in Development Strategy Institute. Selection and promotion 
based on seniority and merit uh, has been one of the key factors for the success of the SOEs. And party organizations inside and outside of the SOEs have been very heavily involved in the promotion and selection of the key leaders of the SOEs. Uh, what do you think? You, you've been giving lots of emphasis on the selection of the outside talent. Mm. And do you think that bringing in this outside, outside talent to the top positions in the SOEs could demoralize or impact, impact negatively the promotion process inside the SOEs? Because mm. How? We got your point. Yes. yes, thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. And whether or not external talents uh, will impact the um, part, negatively the party system within your company. Thank you. As a state SOE, uh, selection and promotion of uh, talents. Yes, indeed, we have uh, in, uh, external talents uh, introduced, and that's a very pra uh, generally used practice. And uh, for the management team, um, as I mentioned, that it's o it's okay to invite to hire those uh, external talents. And uh, the ministers of uh, the uh, different ministries, uh, they, are, they don't have to be party members. For example, Wen Gang from the Ministry of Science and Technology, he is not a party member. So the core uh, management uh, for the um, for us is okay if we don't use uh, party members. And secondly, uh, what the party is playing when selecting promoting uh, uh, talent. First of all, uh, we will see uh, what kind of quality this person has and also the ability. So through the uh, party committee, we will uh, select uh, three to five or five to seven candidates. And they're all uh, very competent. And then the board, the management, will select from these uh, seven members, seven candidates. So that's the uh, uh, way we're doing. OK, Mr. Xu, please. Mr. Ma has already uh, very clear, uh, made it very clear. It's not contradictory to each other. For Tsinghua Holding, uh, we've already uh, introduced a large number of uh, ex very experienced uh, entrepreneurs and engineers, and we're operating very well. There's no problem, no conflict as well, either, uh, not at all. It is not a contradiction. It is uh, complementary to each other and also for example, the party committee's leading of the business and also the selection of the external talents, they're not contradic contradictory to each other. They're promoting each other. So when in real operation, there are a lot of uh, interactions. Yeah, the international general practice is um, uh, there is a nomination uh, committee within the board. For Bao Steel, I am the chairperson. I'm also the party uh, secretary. So the chairman of the nomination committee is me. But in terms of the body, other board members, uh, some of them are from Hong Kong, Singapore, and other places. It very interesting. These case studies are really interesting. Indeed, there are a lot. I believe uh, through the media, uh, there might be a lot of information you ha cannot, uh, you haven't yet uh, accessed uh, through media. International society is uh, very interested in China, but uh, there is a missing of information from time to time. So from today's discussion, you might uh, be fed with uh, a lot of other information when having face-to-face -face discussion with these people. See, they are competing to answer your questions, especially related to the SOE reforms. I think I'm really excited, and I believe and the audience um, should uh, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you. Meanwhile, uh, we would like to thank our all the uh, friends on the stage, the six uh, panelists. Thank you very much. And also thank the audience. We also would like to give uh, you a round of applause. Thank you very much.